in this video i'm going to talk about web workers so i created this um, sample demo here so here we have two buttons so first button is going to render a con some content with web workers and another button is going to render some content without web workers <coughs> and let's see the difference first so i'm going to open up my dev tools uh, uh yeah open up dev tools and open console because i've written some uh, console logs here <coughs> so first let's click on without web workers so this renders some content and we can scroll and see now we are starting to do some lengthy operation so while we are doing lengthy operation as you can see we are not able to select anything and we are not able to click any buttons so this is because we are computing the nth prime number where n is about 40,000 I guess so yeah we are doing some pretty expensive computation on the main thread and as a result this entire ui is pretty much stuck so for some reason chrome is allowing us to scroll so okay so as you can see um yeah so as you can see uh we have we are done with the computation and it took around 31 seconds and yeah so chrome allows us to scroll while we're doing this uh, lengthy operation but other other um, activities such as selecting or clicking buttons is not working okay now let's see the example with web worker so the content is still the same so we're not going to see any difference here so let's click on with web worker and i think it already started okay let me refresh the page okay so with web worker and it's saying starting prime calculation from worker so as you can see here we can scroll we can select and we can click the buttons as well all the animations is working as well uh, as well this is because the expensive operation of finding the nth prime number is happening in the background and um, it's not interfering with our javascript so in the background we are still calculating but uh, we can't see any uh, negative experience on the ui so this is definitely uh, yeah so we are done so it took around 29 seconds which is a bit lesser than what it took on the main thread that's uh, i think because uh on the main thread we also have other um things we are working on um let's say layout shifting and all that so it's probably taking a bit longer due to that and the worker we don't have all those so it's probably take a little less time but uh, that's just my speculation now let's see uh using the performance tab so let's refresh the page again and let's start with uh without the web worker so let's record and then without web worker and then let's see so we can scroll but we are not able to select now the animations are not working and even the mouse indication uh is not changing it's the eye symbol but it's not changing to mouse so mm, yeah so we just have to wait until this is done and um, yeah so we're still not done because this is still not released but it's fine let's stop this so if we check the profiler let's see what the profiler gives us okay i think this is done now we can select now fine so yeah so if we check the profiler you will see that up to this everything was green this is because uh, the worker didn't uh, sorry the prime number calculation didn't start till now but in this uh, region everything is red uh, red means bad it means like there is jank or uh, uh, this uh, cpu is doing a lot of computation which is correct and yeah so up to from uh, 4000 ms up to 28000 ms uh, even more actually um, cpu is doing intensive work and this, this is because um, of a prime number calculation as you can see here it's doing a long task which took 26 seconds and inside this we are doing the calculation so yes it's trying to find the nth prime number and yeah so everything is happening on the main thread here now let's take an example of the web worker so let's click on with web worker and okay shit let's refresh the page and do that then let's refresh the page uh remove all this start recording and select with web worker and let's see let's wait for a few seconds 
let's wait for up to 20 seconds and then we'll we will stop the profiler and see the results so uh, with the web worker what is expected is like um, this uh, time taking operation will not happen on the main thread but this will happen on a separate thread which the browser or rather the OS will uh, which the browser will create on the OS so we will we'll see better performance let's stop this and let's see what the profiler gives us yeah so if we check here uh, it is also uh, showing red because it is doing some ex uh, expensive computation but the main thread is not that busy so mm, let's select this region within this region as you can see the main thread is barely doing any work some timers are working so i think these timers are from react maybe but i'm entirely sure where this is from yeah this is definitely react is doing something not sure what it is yeah here again something probably react or uh yeah plus i think it's probably react is doing this stuff but if we close the main thread and we open the worker thread we'll see that the worker is doing all the work so uh yeah so and so we are uh, moving away from the main thread and using the worker for this lengthy operation so i just want to demonstrate this that um, the performance we get from using a worker is much better than if we had to do the lengthy operation in the main thread so yeah mm, okay so just some disclaimer so um we shouldn't overuse the workers uh, again because like uh, i'll show you the code now okay <clears throat> so um this is live on github this is a url and you can check the github uh, repo from the footer so if you click on this we land on the uh, repo and you can find the web url from here also and if you open this uh, on your uh, ide then you will see the implementation is pretty simple it just has two buttons and depending on the button which you click it will render to different ui one is for without threads and one is with thread and <coughs> without worker and with worker so with web worker is just uh, taking the worker and um, on the componented mount or rather in the use effect uh, it's going to uh, run the worker and it's going to start and yeah it's going to log and uh, without web worker same thing but i'm wrapping this up in set timer so that uh, we can see that the page is loading first and then the worker is starting otherwise uh, it was a bit difficult to see this on the um, what's called the performance uh, tab so i had to do this workaround to start this after two seconds but that's fine and the worker code is here uh, encryption we can ignore i will just have to remove this because we don't know we are not using encryption let me just use it right now and what we are interested in is prime.worker.js so um, from utils we are grabbing the nth prime function and in the on message so whenever someone sends this worker a message it's going to start computing yep and so i mean we shouldn't be using this in like directly like this we should put some check on the event which we are getting on the events data so maybe on some specific uh trigger only we should be doing some operation as we should not because like um so what happens is on a page like page like this there can be many chrome extensions as well and so extensions can also be posting messages so yeah so uh if we check the uh with uh with web worker the uh, method of posting is first we create the web worker using the worker and worker dot post message and we send the message and the worker will do the work and when it is done it will also send post message and the caller uh, i mean the invoker yeah the invoker will uh, listen to the messages for, uh, using the on message function and yeah so it will get that in e dot data is the event so event or data we will get the message which the web worker is returning back to the caller 
yeah so uh, we can find this on github and i created um, this project from a scaffolding project uh, i'll show you the scaffolding project oops not this so if you go to my main repo and you click on the repositories yeah this is the one which i used so this is a like a high level uh, overview of workers and creating a demo to show the difference i will be creating another video where i uh, go through the code exactly what i have written and how we can use uh, workers in our react application because it is a bit different uh, it's like uh, the examples which are given on the uh, websites like mozilla or other uh, blog posts they usually uh, have they usually consider that the worker files are plain chase files but usually if you are using angular or react or any other framework with some uh, bundler like webpack or rollup then we'll probably need to have a custom implementation so it was not um, so uh, it also i need to find a tool to help me do that and i will sh uh, discuss about that in another video so i hope you like this video and found this helpful um, so yeah keep trying to use focus okay actually uh, one more thing i wanted to say before i uh, stop the video so yeah we shouldn't be overusing workers because like uh, there's a cost associated with the message passing so i went through quite a few blogs about web workers and how to use them and the general rule, rule of thumb is uh, like web workers the general idea is a web workers will not reduce the overall time taken to finish an application but it would um, reduce uh, it would uh, it would improve the user experience like uh, while we are doing some operation it will not block the user to do anything so user will feel like it's a smooth application so we need to keep that in mind so we shouldn't be moving everything in web worker because like yeah there's a associated cost with this so one application of web worker i'm taking think about is uh let's say uh, we are creating some bluetooth application so uh, javascript bluetooth so uh, yeah communicating with bluetooth over javascript so we can communicate the bluetooth over javascript right and uh, inside web worker navigator is available so we can have a uh, like server listening inside the worker which will be listened to the uh, bluetooth device and it can periodically communicate with the main thread and main thread can uh, show the corresponding ui and like some things like that so so pieces of code or analytics or things which uh, need not run on the main thread but can uh, run inside a parallel thread so those are the situations where web workers can be useful and basically like um, let's say we are making a heavy application like uh, crunching numbers or creating videos or modifying videos or uh, creating different filters uh, for images or uh, there can be many things actually so for those uh, situations i think like for ml models also we can probably use uh, the web worker because I, I didn't try this but i think it should be should be possible so yeah those are the situations where web work is good but we shouldn't move everything to web workers because uh, uh it's just not worth it for the most part yeah so that's all for this video i hope you learned something uh till then uh, bye bye